What's up YouTube, this is Neo Nexus here bringing you a slightly unique deck profile. I don't think I've seen any of these floating around, at least not the way I built it. Okay, get to the chase, this is my go who go rock stun deck. Um, it's stunnish, but it's more aggro than anything else. Right, <clears throat> now because I've been playing with go who go zombies, I liked the idea of go who go giant getting go who go golem. Now notice this card that's coming out in Lord's Tachyon Galaxy in May. Go, go, Gigas. Which is brilliant. Which basically says, when I special summon a go, go, monster, I can special summon this guy from the graveyard. Only once per turn, but I cannot conduct my battle phase. It's not that bad. It's not. It really isn't. Uh, I like the card a lot. It's got 2200 defense. You can set it and watch them run into it and just rage. So yeah, um, I like the Go Go engine quite a lot. Um, Go Go Giant, get Go Go Golem, revive Go Go Gigas. Pretty good. Now I've got three Go Go Giant because he can bring out any Go Go monster from the graveyard, including one of him, including himself. So you go Giant for some Giant, you go Giant for some Golem, G uh, Giant for some Gigas, and just make rainfall plays. They're rocks, so you know, go go giants on 2k attack, pretty good. Uh, go go golems on 18, that's pretty standard, but it can't destroy once per turn by battle in face up defense. So if I go go go, go, go giant, bring out go go golem, it's a lot of go go goes. I'm gonna get tongue tied. Uh, bring it out in defense, um, he can't be destroyed by battle once per turn. And I've got a 2k beta that will switch to defense, and then main phase 2 I can just overlay if I want to if I want to play it safe. So, yeah. So, that's the go goes out of the way. Then we've got triple block golem. This card is freaking amazing. It works so well with the go goes. I'm not even kidding. Now, if the only clause is I have to have all earth monsters in my graveyard, which kind of means I have to be a little bit careful with my XCD. But, if the only monsters in my graveyard are Earth, I can tribute this card to target two level four or lower rock type monsters from my graveyard, except Block Golem, because that would be cheating, and far too broken, to special summon those targets, but their effects on the field are negated, which is not a problem, not at all. Because um, mainly they're going to be used for overlaying, or if it's a Cocky Miru, I'm just going to tribute it, so it's effective activate in the grave. Activate on the field, but resolve in the grave. Um, uh, and it means I can overlay with my fossil dino if I can So, yeah. So, yeah, Flock Golem. Brilliant card. Then we've got two Cocky Mirror Guardian, 1900 Beat Stick, Tribute to Negate Monster Effect, Villa Rock, or it blows itself up because I don't run Iron Core. Two Sandman, because, well, Sandman is Sandman, it's 1900 Beat Stick, Tribute itself, it stops traps. And once again, it can blow itself up. So, you know, it's nice food for the block golem. Then we've got Revival Golem. Um, he doesn't really do too much apart from he is mainly Exceed Fodder. He's a 2 1 defense. That's a pretty huge ass for this ugly looking motherfucker. But yeah, that's a huge ass. And uh, when he's sent to the graveyard from the deck, uh, I can either special summon this card from the graveyard, or add this card from the graveyard to my hand. Now you don't really want to add it to your hand unless you're discarding for something, but this deck doesn't discard. So, yeah. Um, I'm just going to use the special summon effect and make an XC spotter. Fossil Dino Pachycephalo. Brilliant card. Um, stops both players from special summoning, and when it's flipped face up, it destroys all the special summon monsters. So, yeah, the card is good. It's a rock. Level 4, I like it. For only a couple of giant rats, um, because it's no TK stopper, um, it gives the deck a bit of speed, and I've got two parallels in real life, and I really wanted to use giant rat for something. So, yeah. And we've got two car troopers, which are machines, as my giant rat's a beast. Now, I use trooper to mill my rocks into the graveyard the use of Block Golem and Go Go Giant. And for this guy, Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. 
So literally, I get a 1900 beat stick that mills my rocks into the grave. It's pretty good. I like it. And when it's destroyed, I get to draw a card. So yeah, it doesn't really have that many weaknesses. Um, the special grand troll. It's a rock. It's a troll. Do I need to say more? Uh, two guy plate the earth giant. Now this is an interesting card. I may drop it down to one, but it seems to be working all right at two. It says I can special summon this card by the plate any two rock type monsters in my graveyard. But during my standby phase, I have to banish from rock type monster in my graveyard or send this card to the graveyard. But it has an interesting effect because any monster that battles with this card loses half its attack and defense, which is really good. And it's a 2800 beat stick, so yeah, just boss monsters. He's my boss monster. Then we've got two dualities for speed. The Trinity. Pot of Avarice to recycle my stuff. Because obviously I do a lot of milling. And uh, Copper Mirrors kind of pop themselves if I don't have a, another rocking hand. Two MSTs because I do have Guardian and I do have. Um, Sandman, and I just don't. Well, I'd like to run three MSTs, but I just don't have the room, quite frankly. Then we've got two catapult zones. I like this card a lot. Once per turn, if a monster I control would be destroyed by battle, I can send one rock type monster from my deck to the graveyard instead. So, with <coughs> catapult zone and card trooper, and the copper mirrors popping themselves, yeah, I'm getting a fair amount of rocks into the graveyard, set up my block golem. Set up my go to go giant. Um, moving on to the traps. Rock Bombardment. Send one rock type monster from the deck to the graveyard and inflict 500 damage to the opponent. Now, it's a nice way to get, for me to get my rocks into the graveyard and do a little bit of damage at the same time. It's not an attack stuff, and I probably could replace it with something like Botanus's, but I like the card because it puts my rocks into the graveyard. Obviously, if I was going up against a D Fisher deck, then yeah, I'd have to side into more back row hate. Um, trench Tribute, because I don't mind my stuff going to the graveyard, because I'm just going to recycle it with Pot of Avarice, or bring it back with Golem, uh, sorry, Giant, or Block Golem, uh, or Banish it with my Gaia Plate, so yeah, it doesn't really matter to me if my shit goes to the grave. Um, double Compulse, because Compulse is Compulse, Double D Prison, and Double Mirror Force. Um, so yeah, no botanuses, uh, I would like to run them, but, you know, I'm running other stuff in their stead. I've got it in the side deck, the side deck is a work in progress, any suggestions for the side deck would be most appreciated. But that's the main deck, uh, side deck as it stands, it's all set to change, it's one MST, two botanus, two golem sentry, level four monster, 1800 defense, 800 attack, um, once per turn I can put this card face down, but when it's flipped signed I can return one monster and press like the field to the hand. It's a rock, it works, it's level 4, so it's block girl and target. It may not be great, but, you know, we've got two legendary Jitsu Master. At the end of the damage step, if this defense position card battled a monster, it would turn that monster to the top of the deck, which could prove to be rather annoying with its 1800 defense. See, I couldn't really decide what to go between Golem Sentry and Legend Jiu-Jitsu. They've both got their ups and downs, so I've decided to stick them both in there. Two Maxis because, well, you know, I suppose the deck could do with extra draw power, and if I side them in the Earth, so they don't really conflict with the Block Golems. Um, and Puppet Plants, uh, because they're Earth, I can mix Warriors and Spellcasters, so Proxies and Sams and Heroes. The pop plant and still not interfere with my block going in place. But yeah, that's all I've got for the side deck at the moment. The thing is, it's really tricky making a side deck with this deck because block golem needs earths in the grave, otherwise, it won't work. So yeah, any suggestions would be most appreciated. Alright, onto the extra deck. We've got Shockmaster because we can bring out our three level four monsters quite easily. Uh, we have Thunder Spark Dragon, which is a dark hole. We have a Vion de Sigma, which essentially is a Kataster. We have Shark Drake, because it puts in work. It bumps heads. It bumps heads with a lot of things, revives it, and then 
loads it by the ground and then attacks it again, so that can put in damage. It can spell game. We have a Gemini Pearl, 2 6 beat stick, it's a rock, it's an earth. Got two Utopias, two Pack Rocktives, Maestro, two Fairy King Albavich, Albavidich, or however you pronounce it. Um, I like going into this card a lot. Two Earths ain't too hard. Detached material, if it loses 500, that's not an Earth. It's a really nice card for this deck. Then we've got one Roach, one Abyss Dweller, and one Dug the Cowboy. Now, maybe I should add in some rank 3s, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this deck. I mean, it's a fun little deck that I've slapped together and been working on for the past few days. Um, and I quite like it. It's really interesting, it's really out there. It has its competitive plays, but it's quite a fun deck. Anyway guys, I've been Neonextus, signing out. Peace.